If you always wanted to collect matchboxes, but for any reason didn't succeed, don't worry, we'll make a 3D one just like the real deal. First, start your scavenger hunt. Take pictures of as many matchboxes as you can. Textures give you everything, like colors, bumps, dirts, and decals, basically for free. God save Ian Hubert. Now start cutting your pictures. Make a square document with a high resolution and paste everything in it. In this part, it's good to fix any distortions, warps, or bulgings in your images. Also, don't forget to add some paper textures to your documents. They'll come really handy later. Open up Cinema 4D and add a cube to your scene. Then resize it so it roughly matches the size of a matchbox. Make it editable, then bevel its edges and add subdivisions to the bevel so it seems more real. Decrease the fine angle. Now drag and drop the texture you made into Material Manager and then drag it onto your model. Change the layout to UV Edit. Enable texture editing for your material so you can see it in the UV Manager. Box project the UVs. Now you can easily map your UVs. Select different polygons and position them on the part of the matchbox they represent until you've textured the box completely. When you UV map one box, texturing other boxes is very easy. Now for thickening our box's surface, select all of its polygons and extrude along their normals. Now select the inner polygons and move their UVs onto the paper texture. Now for modeling the slide inside the box, select the inner faces, split, resize it so it fits inside the box. Now close front and back of the slide using closed polygon holes and then delete the top part of the model to make it a slide. Extrude it a little to give it thickness. Now for making the slide more realistic, we can change its inner faces texture to a darker color. So select them, box project, and then move the UVs onto the darker texture in your material. For seeing a higher resolution preview of the material, select your material tag, go to viewport, texture preview size and choose a higher resolution. Now for making the other boxes, add a cloner and make your box a child of it. Texture other boxes by just changing their UV positions and moving them onto other boxes on your texture. Now you can resize your boxes so they match the boxes you copied them from. Change your render engine to redshift. Now add a dome light and add an HDRI to your scene so you have basic lighting. Now for changing your Cinema 4D material to Redshift 1, click on Redshift, go to Materials, Tools, Convert and Replace Materials. Open up your Material Editor. We have the diffuse channel so let's make a roughness map by connecting it to a ramp node so it results in a black and white image we can use as a roughness map. Connect the ramp to Reflection, Roughness. To illuminate the glossy reflections, change the black in the RAM to a light gray. Now use the same trick to make your bump map. Add another ramp node. Connect it to a bump map. Then wire it to overall bump. Now for adding some broader bumps, which make the model a lot more realistic. Bring in a noise node, tweak its setting to get a large and not so detailed noise, Wire it to a bump node, then merge the two bumps with a bump blender node. You can change the settings of the bump blender node to get the result you want. You can see the effect here. Now add the other boxes, add a camera, add some bokeh. Depth of field makes everything realistic and mesmerizing. If you want to get a handheld camera animation, add a vibrate tag, enable position and rotation, vibrate them a bit. Now keyframe your camera position and linearize keyframe interpolation to get a constant animation. For controlling your focus point, add a null, name it focus and add it as a focus object to your camera. Now animate it along with your camera movement. Voila! 